Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America. Our guest on today's This Week in America says changing the way you dine, well, it can change your life. Back with us, Jill Scheme, educator, macrobiotic health counselor, chef, and author of the multiple award-winning book, Comfort Food Gets a Vegan Makeover, over 60 delicious, easy-to-make comfort food recipes with a simple vegan twist. Great Pictures lays flat. A graduate of the Strengthening Health Institute, a premier macrobiotic educational facility in Philadelphia. Also a graduate of the Ohio State University. Jill teaches adult and children's cooking classes, a frequent resource for companies and organizations on health and wellness. Jill Scheme, author of Comfort Food Gets a Vegan Makeover, back with us on This Week in America. Jill, welcome back to the program. Always great to have you with us. Rick, it's always fun. Thank you so much for having me. And I can't believe we're doing holiday dining again. It seems like we just did that a few weeks ago. It was a, week, a year ago when we did it the last time. On the program today, we're going to focus on, this is the first of three we're going to do for the next three weeks. Jill will be with us on the program to talk about what we can do, getting a vegan makeover and what we can do to uh, to lessen the, the calories and the fat intake that we're going to have over the course of the, uh, the holidays. Today's show, we're talking about easy tips to make your holiday dishes healthier. We'll talk about the book, Comfort Food Gets a Vegan Makeover, which Jill will sign, makes a great gift for, for the holidays. Let's start with some tips that people can use. And one you talk about, and I've heard this frequently during the course of the, the last couple of years, using olive oil instead of butter. And talk that's, about how to do that, because I understand this really doesn't affect the, the, the taste, but it will save you a lot of uh, harmful foods. Well, it really will. And research shows that the average person will we eat roughly 7,000 calories during their uh, Christmas dinner, if you can believe that. Wow. So this is one great way to cut down on calories, saturated fat, and cholesterol. I know when my mom used to make our stuffing, she would use a stick of butter. So I just say, why not substitute it for olive oil? It's a healthier fat, and it will reduce a lot of the saturated fat and cholesterol. And you do not know... Um, the dish, dish tastes the same. You don't lose the integrity of the dish. So it's so much easier. You can also do it with gravies. You know how you do part flour, part butter. You just do half and half flour and olive oil too. So you can do it with roux and gravies and also mashed potatoes instead of butter. And you so talk about using easy. Yeah, you talk about using the the cooking water, the reserve cooking water to thin out the mashed potatoes as well. Talk talk about how that works. I do. What I do is um, when you, you cook mashed potatoes, of course, you start them with cold water and you, you salt the water. So what I do is after the um, you use a fork to see if they're tender and then I just pour the reserve cooking water into a measuring cup. I mash the potatoes and then I gradually use the cooking water because it's already seasoned and um, you just get it to the consistency that you like. Some people like smooth mashed potatoes, some people like chunky. And then I just add a little olive oil, salt, pepper. Sometimes I top it with chives or caramelized onions and you really cannot tell the difference at all. I've never had anyone say to me, oh, I'm missing the butter, the sour cream, the cream, the fat. No one says that. They just say they're delicious. So you can still have your mashed potatoes and eat them too and not feel guilty about them. Jill Scheme, our guest on This Week in America. Her website is Jill Scheme. That's S-K-E-E-M dot com. Author of the book, Comfort Food Gets a Vegan Makeover. You go to Jill's website and get all the information on the book. Book's available. We'll talk about it at the end of the program that Jill will sign and send off to you gift wrap just in time for uh, for your holiday gift giving. It's got uh, over 60 recipes, very colorful, yeah. taking what some of the foods that we really love and making them over. And what's amazing is when you try these, and we have tried these, and you read people who've done that, they really can't tell the difference, can they? In fact, they feel pretty good because they're getting the, the taste they expect, and they're, they're cutting back on the calories and fat. I've had several people who say they just start cooking from my cookbook and they've lost weight unexpectedly, which is great. So you can still have your lasagnas, your mashed potatoes, um, you know, sweet potatoes, things like that without, um, you know, the saturated fat and cholesterol and you can lose weight too. We're doing so, some easy, what a bonus. <laughs> well, it really is, and the book's available at Jill's website. You can link on to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and go directly there. Talking about easy tips to make your holiday dishes healthier, let's talk about sweet vegetables. That's something that you throw out there that, that really, it's going to what curb our, the, the sweet tooth, but do it in a, uh, in a way that's very healthy for us. 
Oh, it's true. I mean, when you start adding more sweet vegetables to your diet, like uh, butternut squash soup, which the longer you cook it, it gets sweeter. You can roast your vegetables like carrots and parsnips. And when you start adding more of these vegetables to your diet, your cravings for unhealthy sweets, such as like chocolate or sugar or things like that, they go down because you're actually satisfying the sweet craving. We all have a sweet craving. So if you add those, those vegetables to your diet, it will help you. Isn't and, that easy and great? <laughs> it, yeah, well, it really is. And roasting vegetables is very easy. You go through the, the yeah. steps on this thing, and it really is very easy. And actually, these are very good. Yes, they are. And it does. When you roast a vegetable, it brings out the carbohydrates in it. So it does make them sweeter. And it does satisfy your sweet tooth. Now, of course, if you do have a sweet tooth, you can always use a product called brown rice syrup, which is made from brown rice. Or you can use maple syrup, which are more natural sugars instead of, you know, white sugar, brown sugar, things like that. Jill Scheme, our guest on This Week in America, author of the book Comfort Food Gets a Vegan Makeover, going through some tips to make holiday dishes healthier this year. And you really are a big fan of soup. Talk about that, and especially oh, this yeah. time of year in most of the country, soup is very warming. It's very satisfying. Well, it is. I mean, I always say that you don't end a day of skiing and go down and say, oh, I want a big salad. <laughs> you know, you want something... You should be eating warmer foods in a colder climate. And soup is very relaxing. You know, a lot of times, especially during the holidays, we're so stressed. And if you have a nice bowl of creamy, like like I said, butternut squash soup, it, it tends to relax you. Or vegetable soup, it warms you up, but also relaxes you and helps your digestion. So I'm a huge fan of soup. We eat it year round. And I just love it. But especially this time of year, and ache. you don't have to do it for hours and hours. You can just... Cut the vegetables up, extra vegetables you might have in your, your refrigerator, add some water, cook them till they're soft, blend them, season it, not blend it. You could add beans to it, leftover pasta. It's, it's really great. So Something I that, always recommend soup. Well, it's really good. I like the butternut squash, too. This is a great time yeah. of year for that. A, a couple minutes left on the program. The first oh, yes. of three we're doing with Jill. And something that's plentiful this time of year, people are always shoving it in front of us when we're out, and that's cheese. And you're saying yeah. we really need to avoid that because that's really, that's creating problems. Well, that has tons of saturated fat, cholesterol, and um, a lot of salt. So actually, the more salt that you eat, the more sweets you crave. It's a lot of times, and vice versa. That's like why Reese's Peanut Butter Cup is a perfect candy bar. It's got sweet and... and um, uh, salty. So I would say the easiest way to cut out calories is to take off the cheese, whether it's a cheeseburger or a sandwich or even those cheese plates, you know, it all adds up very quickly. So I would say if you want to cut down on calories, just remove the cheese and, and still enjoy your meal. If you're looking for good foods to eat that will be healthy for you, I suggest Comfort Food Gets a Vegan Makeover. Jill Scheme is our guest on the program and the author of the book. What's really neat about this, the pictures are great. It lays flat, Thank so you. it's very easy to use as, as you're following the recipes. And the recipes are easy to follow, and you're using ingredients that you find quite readily in the store. This is not uh, a trip that's going to take you three hours to find the ingredients no. that you have in the book. You're talking about things that are, that are available. That's right. And I live in Idaho, so things sometimes are less available to us. So if I can find them, you can find them. So I tried to make it just as easy um, as possible and because uh, I want people to cook and I want people to feel better. And, and really what you eat today makes tomorrow's blood. So these are very easy tips and you will not know a difference in the meals or the dishes that you make. It will make a great holiday gift. Comfort Food gets a vegan yes. makeover. You can find information at Jill's website, which is jillscheme, S-K-E-E-M dot com. We'll link on by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. And Jill, if you get these orders in like real quickly, you will do a, uh, an autographed copy that you'll send out gift wrap to, uh, to wherever. And it makes a great idea for Christmas. Oh, it does. I mean, more and more people are wanting to eat healthier. More and more people are going vegan, vegetarian. So it's great. I also do have a couple free recipes on my website, so you can check them out. But um, yeah, it, it would make a great gift. And you don't have to do anything except order it on my website, and I'll do the rest. 
Sounds simple. It's Comfort Food Gets Vegan Makeover. Jill Scheme, our guest on This Week in America. Her website, Jill Scheme, S-K-E-E-M.com. First of uh, three that we'll be doing, talking about over the holidays and how to get by without packing on the customary 15, maybe even 20 right. pounds that people do yeah. this time of year. Jill, thank you for joining us. We'll be back with part two. You're listening to This Week in America. Information on Jill, of course, available at our website, thisweekinamerica.us.